just literally did that and it went wrong. Hello and welcome to the Mad Shave Vlogs YouTube channel. As always, please remember to smash that like button, hit subscribe because it really does, really does make a difference to the channel. We're here at St Mary Stadium for Southampton versus Hull City um, for our makeup game, the one that we missed because of the FA Cup tie. Um, and here we are to hopefully make up ground on Leeds, who are currently above us, uh, but we're certainly hoping to end the night in second rather than fourth. Ipswich are also playing tonight. They're playing against Rotherham you can't expect them to win so things could be getting very very tight uh, looking at our lineup tonight I think the only doubtful point is perhaps the midfield it looks like uh, Will Smallbone will be playing the holding midfield role uh, but aside from that to be expected uh, Sheridan isn't quite back and Flynn, uh, Flynn Downs is also currently out at the moment but how are you feeling with this lineup what, we, what, do we miss anything do we miss anything I mean, I personally miss nothing. And in fact, I think at this point, it should really be an apology and then a quick highlight reel of your skiing holiday. It's uh, here. Okay, back to the game at hand. No, I think that midfield for me, it's it's unknown. I, I, I never know what it's going to be, but I do feel like small, small bonus kind of taking that number six role of Downs is in there. He's he, he's either a passenger or he's really on his on his game, Will. And it's not like tonight where he needs to step up a little bit. So I think I think it's going to be fine. I'm just more excited about the Mara Adozi lineup. To be honest, I think that's going to be so much fun going down that wing. Now listen, it's not been bad since Adozi's been out. It's not been bad since Suleiman has been out, but I have missed those flare runs down the wing and just the breaking of fullback's ankle. So to see that come back tonight and see that ball whipped across the box to a striker who, let's be face it, has been scoring goals from a yard out, so he knows where to be in the box. Yeah. Very exciting. And also from outside the box as well. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Dude, can he score outside the box? That Them goals were just ridiculous. I've watched them back a few times and... Gosh darn, they were blowing nice girls. <laughs> <laughs> Got a gosh darn over here. Uh, but looking back at our previous results, I mean, obviously the loss against Bristol City. Hello to all the Bristol City fans in the comment section. Nice to see you. Uh, it was a deserved win, I think, for Bristol City. We weren't quite at it at that game. Our passing wasn't on point. And it appears the corner Russell Martin, we were playing basketball. Um, so that was obviously a problem. Uh, the West Brom performance, though, I was, I was impressed with that. Oh, yeah. I was worried the fact of not being able to break down West Brom. I mean, West Brom don't score many goals, but they don't concede many goals either. And certainly go to the Hawthorns and score two very, very good goals. I, w I was super, super happy with that. The this test tonight is going to be a tough one. Hull City, it was a tough game uh, at the, t at, what was it, the KC Stadium? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, it was a tough game, a narrow 2-1 win up there with a Ryan Frazier goal in stoppage time. It's first goal for Southampton as well. But let's hope we can get the three points here. I think Hull are a, a more improved side than when, when we last played them. But then so are we. So are we. Right, let's get on to score predictions. What are we feeling, Jack? It's been a while. It's been a minute since you've been here. So I feel like we need a good comeback game. I'm going to 3-0 the Saints. I love it. Any particular scorers? Yeah, I'm going to go for a Mara Brace. And uh, do you know what? A small bone tap him. Easy, easy. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to go for a slightly less audacious 2-0 to Southampton because it is Gavin Bazunu's birthday. So I'm certainly hoping he can keep a clean sheet. And let's face it, that save against West Brom was... Whoo, Unreal. Right, so it's a 2 0 from me, a 3 0 from Saint, 3 0 from three nil from Saints, 3 0 from Jack. Maybe I just I just said what it's gonna be, a 3 0 from it is gonna be 3 0. Um, what I will say, you can guarantee Ben Rack's getting a yellow card this game. But if but if, if you can tra travel back in time from this world, go put money on Ben Rack getting a yellow card. He's one away from the ten from the ten from the ten. So if he gets the suspension today, he's back for the Liverpool match. Oh, okay. Tactical. Very, very tactical. Right. Kickoff coming up.
Half time here at the Samaria Stadium is currently Southampton nil, Hull City two. Um, Hull have been all over us in that first half, and um, quite frankly, it's lucky that it's only two. Is that is that fair? I mean, I think the real gap is in that midfield role. It, it just feels like we don't have a number six on the pitch, and it's just leaving leaving everything wide open. Yeah, it, it, all credit to Hull. They're, they're, they're playing really, really well. They're closing us down. They're doing everything they need to be doing. The really annoying thing for us is that there are options. Like we're, we're passing it back so much, and we're not looking up at all. Did it finally? Finally, last kick of that first half, we did it. And oh my god, and what a great attack that was! Looking good. They're just being really stupid. I can imagine Russ is going to give them an absolute pe pasting at halftime because it just wasn't good enough. 
there's cha- at least there's changes to be made. But yeah, that number six roll is it's so wide open. It's that, that whole position of the pitch is just open. It's just awful. It's bad. Yeah, it's, it's not been a good watch at all. I mean, I don't need to single any particular players out, but I think Hull City have come here and have come here to play their game and certainly stop us from playing ours. But like I said, I mean, there's this massive gap in the field. We're not dropping far enough back. We can't play out from the back. So Baz is being forced to play it long. And Carl Walker Peters and Ryan Manning are forced to, to be taking more risks. If we end up having to play more direct football, I can see us needing to make some changes to do that, even even still. But I'd, I'd probably like to see Rebo come on. Um, you know, Joe Rothro, he's struggling. He's struggling in that position. And I just don't think we've got the luxury to have, you know, bit part players on the pitch. I don't think Arebo's come out to, to train at halftime. So, yeah, Arebo is not out to warm up. So maybe uh, some change. Of it's what we would you generally expect. But like I said, it could be a heck of a lot worse. But with Ipswich Town currently 3-0 or 3-1 up, as we hear, um, they're currently moving above us. I don't like that. This is stressful. I want us to go back to winning. What is it about Tuesdays? Who knows? Anyway, second half coming up. Halfway through the stoppage time of six minutes, it's now Southampton one, Hull City two. Ball's coming in. Southampton showing a little bit of life in these final moments. Can we snatch a point after being largely second best for the most of this game? How many times in your life have you seen a goalkeeper take a throw in? Once, just them. The stadium has not seen a defeat since the 19th of September, 2023. Get something in there, come on. Since Joe Rubio's been on the pitch, it's been a bit of a different story in the midfield. It's not been enough though, has it? We've just been second best here tonight. We really have. I haven't checked the scores elsewhere, but I'm presuming Ipswich have got a win against Rotherham. Which if this stays the same as it is, we will end up in fourth. I don't like that. And there it is. It's ended. Southampton 1, Hull City 2. We march on. Got to, got to do the business against Millwall on Saturday. As always, remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. All right, see ya.